Hello, my name is Tom Lemire. I'm going to show you how to load in tooling information on a Herco CNC milling machine and calibrate a tool to the workpiece. You need to walk up to the Herco control and make sure that you're in input mode. Input mode is the mode that you would want to be in anytime you want to do any programming or anything that has to do with the machine program. When you go into input mode, you have your three parts of your program loaded up on the screen in soft keys. Part setup is where you pick up your X, Y, zeros on the machine. Tool review is how you get into tool setup and do your tool changes and actually load up your tooling information. And part programming is where you make your actual programming. I'm going to go into tool review and then I'm going to hit the tool setup soft key. The tool I want to get into the machine and calibrate is tool number 15. So I'm going to go up to the tool number field and type in 15 and then hit enter. At that point I'm going to put my machine into automatic tool change mode and hit the cycle start button. And the machine will load tool number 15 into the spindle. Now, if that wasn't the tool I wanted to calibrate, if it was sitting on the uh, workbench, I would push the um, spindle on clamp button with one hand, hold it onto the tool with the other, and then unload that tool, and I would load a new tool into the spindle. Now I'm going to come back to the screen, and I'm going to tell it the type of tool is an end mill. The diameter of the tool is 0.75. You'd measure that. And at the zero calibration prompt, I'm going to take the machine, I'm going to select the z-axis, I'm actually going to move over to the pot first, I'm going to select the x-axis, I'm going to hit the hand wheel uh, um, x100, that means every click of the hand wheel is going to move ten thousandths of an inch. And I'm going to move over to my hypothetical pot that's in the spindle, switch it to the Z, and start coming down. And when I get close to where I want to store my position, I'm going to go to a lower number. And I'm going to actually jog my machine down to where I want to store my zero pot. For our purpose of demonstration right now, I'm going to make believe that I have a piece in the, in the uh, vise and I want to set my zero on top of the piece right there. At that point I'd come over here and right above the hand wheel there's a store position button. I'm going to hit that and the number gets put into the z-axis calibration field. If that was on top of a one inch gauge block or a half inch gauge block and I wanted to compensate for the value of the gauge block I would simply type in one point plus enter. Now up on my screen, I can see that it says I'm one inch above the pot in the z-axis. Now I'm going to continue and give it the rest of the information. I'm not going to give it an RPM. I'm going to tell it that I'm going to tell it surface feed and let it compute the RPM. I'm going to tell it when I'm using this tool, I want to use the primary coolant. The surface feed I want to run this at because I'm going to cut an aluminum pot and it's carbide end mill is 600. My feed per flute, I'm going to take and give it how much I want it to feed each revolution and I'm simply going to take the diameter of the tool and divide it by 200 and it will calculate my feed per tooth at three thousandths and a little change. I'm going to tell it it's a three fluted end mill and that is all the information I need to tell it to set up a tool. I'm going to hit tool home and the cycle start button and if I want to go to another tool I would simply go up to my tool number type in the next tool I want to calibrate, put my tool changer into auto, and hit start, and it will get the next tool. And I can continue just like I did on this tool by filling in the information, jogging it down, and touching it off on top of the piece. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.